an apple seed. Oh man, really? All right, everybody, let's get to it. It's fishing derby day. It's also a Sunday, so we should probably check out the traveling cart. Annoyed spirits today. And we've learned how to make the maki roll. Ooh, delicious. Weather report, beautiful and sunny tomorrow. All sorts of good things happening. We have batteries. That's always nice. I do need more wood. That is a true statement. We also need more chests. That's also a true statement. Let's drop that off there. Uh, what else do we need to... Do I chop down a couple trees first so we can get another chest? Or we really need another chest. Like, this is without doubt. I missed. <laughs> well done, Hillhelm. Way to miss. Lots of volunteers over here. Lots of trees that also still have moss on them. Look at all of the moss. My goodness, it's, it's literally everywhere. Woo! I do enjoy that sometimes you get two instead of just one. I'm not sure if there's anything that causes that or if it's just a random chance. Okay, do we still have inventory room? Very good. Now what do we have to water over here? We have to water the hops and one set of melon seeds over there. Because of the scarecrow, we have to water the melons. And we have to water up by the house, and then that's it. Nothing else to water beyond those things. So I'd say that our efforts to get enough sprinklers have thus far borne a fruit for us. Now we need tappers. Is really what we need. And we need to go fishing for the derby. If I had the wood, I would just upgrade the barn right now, I think. And be done with it. Then the only thing we would need is to be able to get a one wool. Which can't be that hard to do. It really can't. Tiger, where have you gone? Oh, kitty cat. You have disappeared. I suppose that's not too surprising. There is a large farm for the cat to wander around in. Our chicken... One of our chicken little duck babies. There we go. Duck babies. Our chicken, I think, was still... In the process of growing there. Get that going. Get this going. Quick stack all of these things. Just throw that in there for now. Because I've got too much going on. Right. Let's, let's grab you. Break a couple of these. We'll go down to the bottom here. And we'll start here. And I, I, I just need a little bit. I don't need a lot of wood, but I do need some. Because I need enough to make a chest or two. So the, certainly we need to chop down some of these. And that looks cleaner anyway without that row there. And we are getting moss as well. Very nice. So much energy gone already. Okay. What do we have to plant? Well, thankfully we have lots of you. Oh, 
All right, we'll call that good. I think that is good. Wow, a little bit of lag there. Computer, what's up with that? You're usually so stable, I don't even worry about it, but something caused a little bit of a blurp there. Not sure what that was about. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen again, because things like that always make me a little... Well, they make me scratch my head a little bit, let's just put it that way. They are head-scratching moments. Um, probably just have to restart the computer. It'll be fine. It's been a few days. That usually sorts out whatever issues are going on. So what do we have? A squid. An apple seed. <laughs> oh, man. Really? That just... My soul. We're buying this. Oh, we're gonna buy one of those too. Just one. All right, what else? A wine? We can make a wine, but... <gasps> Red cabbage seed. Nine days. Oh, we don't have enough time. I do need the seed though. The wine is also tempting. Just to have it be done, but we can make a wine. That's not a problem. Ugh. Apple sapling. I cannot believe. <sighs> I mean, I can. We're not going to get a lot of fishing done today. <laughs> we'll get some in. Don't worry. But there are there are just some things that we have to take care of. Okay. This this apple tree wants to live. I think. Like right here. There. It's going to have a very happy life right there. Our fences are breaking. That's not what we want to see in life. Drop that off. Sell a couple things. Say hello to Tiger. Go back over here. Put a couple things away. No, what did I just grab? Put that away. I need five of these. No, not right now, though, because we can't go to the community center. We have other things to do. Will I remember that Maki roll is there? Maybe not. Well, maybe if we put it in there, I'll remember. There's a better chance of that happening anyway. Okay, now we can go fishing. That was a very expensive traveling cart, but... I do like the fact that we got the apple tree. We can now get the three apples that we need for the community center, and I will rejoice internally. I really will. Okay, let's drop off some tags. Another hat. Well, we already have the hat, so I might just, you know, toss it. Does it just cycle through the rewards, I wonder? I don't know, but I don't need this hat. So we'll, we'll get rid of that one. And here we go. Back to fishing for tags. And profits. And hopefully sprinklers. Because I have to admit, more sprinklers would make me very excited. I would be pretty happy about that. Imagine if your bobber really was a duck. That'd be weird, wouldn't it? Watch the duck sink to have success. Alright, grab the chest. Our fish are now worth 50% more, so if we drop them by 50%. Here's where I don't understand math. And my wife could probably explain this to me. But if we drop the overall by 50%, but then we increased it back by 50% from the dropped 50%, we'd only be at 75% of normal, right? Or would we, would we be back because you've increased it by 50% of, of the half? 
So we'd be at 75, right? We want to be back to 100, correct? I just... I'm bad at understanding how that works because math and I don't really... We're not on good speaking terms, okay? <laughs> so if somebody can clarify that one in the comments for me, I would be very appreciative. Oh, no, no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, game. Thank you. Wow. That all happened because I thought a couple of those casts were going to be long enough to be in the water, so I hit the button again to, like, to, you know, to bring it back in. And then it wasn't in the water, and so then you just cast it again. Ugh. Now, does luck impact how often you get the tags? I don't know. I'm not sure. I will say, though, that this bait, fish-specific bait, seems to be amazing. Does that work on things like lava eels, too, then? If you catch a lava eel? Because they, they sell for a decent amount, right? I mean, I would imagine that it would work in there. I don't know why it wouldn't. What do we catch in the fall that's worth a lot of money? I'm not sure. I feel like I should go and catch the, uh, the summer legendary, though. Maybe not today, in this day of Stardew, but soon we should go and catch it. Um, because we will be able to put it in the community center. And that would be pretty nice. Okay, we got two of you. What do we get? Oh, more mystery boxes. Excellent. And a diamond. Well, I'll take a diamond. Diamonds are great. I probably should have brought, like, more squash with me. Oh, well. What's done is done. We can't undo. We are going to have a ton of deluxe bait soon. I'm not really sure then... Can you put that in a crab pot? I guess I could try it. We could put out a couple crab pots on the farm and just see. Another wonderful golden tag. All right. So I have to say, this event's pretty cool because you can come and go as you want to. You can do a bunch of other stuff. Um... The rewards are somewhat randomized, and that makes it kind of fun. And you just have to think ahead and make some bait beforehand so you're ready to go. Get a lot of... To get a lot of trout. Now, is there a wintertime one, too? And if so, like, what do you... I think it's, like, squid or something ridiculous, isn't it? I don't know. I haven't looked at that one. I just know that there's another fishing one in the winter. I would imagine personally that if there is an... Uh, yeah, I know there is. That the other one in the winter works in a very similar fashion. Maybe just at a different location. Maybe, you know, down on the beach or up at, um, up at the mountain lake or, you know, whichever. I do like that it's the annual Trout Derby. Good times. I think it would be neat, too, for some of these uh, sort of festivals like this one and uh, our redheaded neighbor to the south, Leah, uh, always talks about, you know, maybe starting an art festival. And it would be interesting if there was some sort of art festival that went on every year as a result of your actions. Or maybe it doesn't happen if you... You know, tell her to just sell her stuff online. And then you wouldn't get the events. 
Like, that would be interesting if you had some things like that that, you know, could happen or, or wouldn't happen based on some of your decisions in talking to characters. It'd be pretty fun. We have four tags again already? My goodness. Racking them up out here. And we don't need rainbow trout for anything else, so... Pretty much once we're done here, we're done. With the rainbow trout bait for the year. I will restock it to some extent, however. Just to make sure that we have some. And I feel like maybe we should go talk to a couple of the people on the island there, because we didn't get a chance to do that yesterday. All right, chest. What did you get? Give me ancient seed. All right, well, I'll take jade, I guess. Ancient seed would be better. Ah, this is the life. Nothing more tranquil than a day of fishing. Any luck? Most of the baits I'm getting are mosquitoes. Uh, yes, actually, I've had quite a bit of fish, thank you. Where I come from, they call me Trout Man. Yep, spent five years on how to think like a trout. Pretty simple, actually. Food, 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 lay eggs, rest, eat more food. Happen to like food myself. Not so good at laying eggs, though. That is hysterical. <laughs> oh, man. Not a competition, but whoever gets the most tags will have bragging rights the rest of the year. Of course, some guy shows up wearing the same outfit. Okay, we talk to you. All right, we got another mounted trout. Well, we'll probably just toss that one. Some bait. Lovely. More espresso. Thank you. Thank you. That's really what we want. And a sprinkler, maybe? Yeah, let's go. Get some pretty solid items over here. There goes Abigail, just kind of casually walking through the event up top there. What are they all doing down there? Oh, they're fishing? Well, I'm out of here. Abigail's not sticking around for this nonsense. Let me tell you, she is a lady with a plan. She is out of here. She's on her way to bigger and better things, or at least different ones. <laughs> go, Abs, go. Oh my. We've caught 21 trout today. And it's only been, what, like six hours in game? Not too shabby. Catching more trout. Oh, yes. Give me all the tasty trouts. Uh, if you put a rainbow trout in a fish pond, you have a very minor chance of getting a prismatic shard, by the way. It's, it's very, 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 very low, and I've never actually successfully done it. But I know it can be done. I know it can be done. I see bubbles over there, and I don't think I can reach them. Maybe from the maybe from the southern shore I could reach it. But definitely not from where I'm at. I love the reaction of all the people fishing, too. Like, oh, I almost got one. Oh, I got a bite. Oh, come on, I lost it, or whatever. That's funny. What if it tells you at the end of the event how many golden tag things you actually got? That'd be kind of fun, just to know. Again, not that it'll do anything, but just to be aware, I guess. Boop, boop. Okay, we're going to we're gonna enjoy some fresh chub and this lovely algae so that we can do a little bit more fishing. We'll probably have to head back up to the house at what? A little after 12, probably? We have time to sell everything and rearrange our inventory, put things away, all that good stuff. Boop, boop. Oh, yes. There is a game coming out. I don't remember. Something, uh, Sun... 
Sunset City? Sun hmm. The name escapes me. Something City, I think. And uh, the developer is someone who worked with Concerned Date for a little while. So that's fun, just as a trivia thing. And uh, the game looks a lot... It could be very interesting. It's like the... I don't want to say it's the city version of Stardew, because that might not be true entirely, but... Uh, there are certainly many similarities. You know, you, you move there, you make new relationships, you live your life, and... And do all the, the things like that. And so, I'm interested to see where that one goes. I believe it's supposed to be out in some form later this year. I will probably give that a look. Ooh, there's another tag. Okay. Give me those tags, game. I choose you. I choose you to help me get more diamonds. That's really what we're looking for. Or sprinklers. Sprinklers are also good. I will take more sprinklers, yes. Perfect. Alright, last cast, I think, for the trout derby right here. We have another 28-something fish that we've caught just, just this afternoon and evening. That's amazing. Right then, let's trade in. Warp totems, okay. And Omnigeodes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it just cycles through all the available rewards. And that's okay. Don't mind it at all. We got we got a sprinkler. So how helpful is this event later in the game? I'm not sure. But certainly this first year, incredibly helpful. I need one here. <laughs> one there. I need... Yeah, th we need three more down there. Hmm. I don't know how feasible that is. Not very. We have, like, we're out of resources, more or less. Where did I put the rest of these warp totems? There's a question I have. Oh, I need a, a grape. Do we have a grape? Grape, 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 grape. Perfect. Can make a wine. Get that going. Okay, do we already have this? Yes. We don't need a pike. We don't need rainbow trout. We don't need any of those rainbow trout. Do we? We still have 45. That's, I think, a pretty sufficient number. Um, I can't sell that, but I can sell the diamond. Okay, real fast then. Let's toss this out. Put that there. Switch out the bait. Put the bait away. Run over here. Grab... The tools we will need for the morning. Put the rest of those away. Go run up and go to bed before the uh, the inevitable collapse of ourselves into sleep. Okay, go. Yes. Well then, what do we get fishing today? 2,600. Again. <laughs> now, yeah, no, it's got to be that. It's got to be 50% more from the from the 50 percent so another 25 percent compared to normal so now we're at essentially 75 percent income when we're fishing i mean i'm not complaining about that I'm, it just makes fishing so valuable still fishing really might be one of the most valuable things you can do in this game Fortune teller today. Neutral. Okay. Living off the land. Most towns have a seasonal calendar. Good idea to check it now and then. I will do so. Weather report. Beautiful and sunny. Okay. Good morning farm. Good morning. 
to the cows. Hello. I should probably... Uh, I can't get in there. <laughs> we should maybe make some new fences. Uh, yeah. I would like hardwood fences, really, but... I don't know if I have enough hardwood for that, and I'm gonna need hardwood for other things, so... It makes me a little hesitant to, to worry about. But I should be able to craft some fences here. Alright. Just take care of mending the fences here a little. Well, that does answer my question from several episodes ago in that... Hey, are these actually, you know, permanent props on the farm or... Are they normal fences that can decay? And I didn't know at the time, but... They're just normal fences that can go away. I mean, at this point, we might as well just break... Like, all the fence, right? I think we're going to leave a gap here, a three wide gap so that the cows can get up here. I would like to keep the, the ducks maybe over here a little more. Um, so let's, what is that? A tr random tree right there? Right, so let's let's remove this tree. Why am I so low on energy already? What have I done to myself? I'm not sure. Just went to bed too late, probably. Right, and then let's put it there. Okay, that looks nice. We can put a pathway here. Alright. I'm down with it. Got some trees we don't need there. Five blueberries, Hilham. Five golden blueberries are what you need in your life for the community center. Please, please, please remember this fact so that you can take them to the community center and rejoice with exceedingly great joy that you have finally remembered the last of the golden crops. Okay, how much room do we have? We do have room. Good. Watch, watch I only get four. That would just be how it is, you know? I guess we'll find out. Gonna be a lot of cranberries over here later. I have seven. Lovely. There we go. That's all watered. Now he's gonna water over here. Eat a squash, maybe. Drop off some things. Make some eggs into mayonnaise. Make some cheese out of milk do all that kind of good stuff. Go down here, water all this. Oh yeah. What am I going to have for lunch today? There's a question I don't have an answer to. We're getting awfully close to lunchtime now. And my stomach is becoming insistent about it. Okay then. We did get a lot of wood. We did use a lot of wood too, to be fair. Go over here, stack those. 
Take two of those off. Put it down there. Sell these. I don't need 151. 50 should be sufficient to make seeds out of. All right. Can sell that. Oh, Tiger, where have you gone today? Have some water. Oh, you're way over there on the left. Well, you're on the way to the next objective, which is the mines. How are we doing here? We can do this. Stack that in there. Okay. That's a community center item. What else is a community center item? Let's just take a look. Is there anything else that's flashing? Take me to the community center, please. Take me. I don't believe there will be, but you never know. Let's grab some carrots. Great for energy, terrible for selling. Like really crazy good for energy though, look at that. Alright, anything else for the community center flashing at me? No. Would like that red cabbage though. Ah, we do need five of you. Okay. Looking. Oh, we could grab an espresso. Yeah, we could. Enjoy some bonus speed. Why, yes. Yes, I think I will. Sell all of those. Right. And then this stuff all goes to the community center. And then we'll go to the mines. Uh, which is a little bit of a shame, because otherwise we could have taken the mine cart, but... That's okay. What do we need today? We need copper. The goal for the day is copper, I think. Or do we try to finish the last little bit that we need for sprinklers? Well, that's a tough call, but I don't think it matters. Either way, we'll get it done before, uh, before summer's over. Yeah, the helper bundle. Okay, done. We are flying through this community center. Star drop tea. Hmm. A gift that would delight anyone. Well then. Here's the only... Yeah, I was going to say, here's one of the downsides. Um, I'm going to need to buy the jack-o'-lantern recipe. <laughs> Which kind of annoys me a little bit, but I guess it's okay. And try to get... Tr I don't think we're getting truffles unless we find one at the cart. I really just don't think that's happening. Same thing with a wool. Alright, the wine's being made, so that'll be done. We're waiting for the cows to grow up to get a large milk. We have ducks, but they have not made us any duck eggs as of yet. So that's two more of those items done. And then we just need goats. We don't even need the wool unless we happen to find it. Because we can upgrade the barn and just get uh, goats. And then we don't need the max upgrade for anything. There's no rabbit foot that we need or whatever. So, okay. Actually, that's really good to, to know that. There's another bundle completed. And we got a preserve jar. Okay. So it is possible then that by midway through fall, we'll have the greenhouse. We just have to upgrade the barn and we're very close in terms of income. Money earned here. To be able to do that, which means we will certainly have the money for it in the fall. So that just leaves me with having to get money for the desert as the last thing in the community center to really kind of have to worry about. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, if we get the greenhouse, we can grow that red cabbage easily enough. All right, 
let's just jump down and start looking for what we need, which is copper. I need, I need copper. There's one piece. A copper nodes would be, uh, you know, ideal as far as that goes. That being said, I do also just need stone. So maybe what we do is we we break also any large stones that we find today along the way. To be able to uh, restock on some stone. We're not maxed out on mining yet, so all of these rocks are important. Get these, oh, excuse me. Get the gray ones here and the big ones for more stones. Double stone every time, very good. That one was a triple, I think. Oh yeah, I love this extra ore thing. Now later on, it's more profitable, I would argue, to switch over to the, the chance for double gemstones. But when you're trying to build stuff, like at the beginning of the game, sometimes it just takes forever to get enough ore, so... I do, I do like having it, and then I, I like to switch it. And I mentioned that before, but it, it just bears remembering, because I found it very helpful. I need a lot of copper, because we have a lot of tappers to build. Hello, broccoli seeds. All right, we haven't had those before, but now that we're getting close to the end of the season, the game has decided to bless us with some because we will need to grow it in the fall. Now, is it possible? Uh, I don't know what floor that dwarf scroll first spawns on. Doesn't Marnie ask for a cave carrot at some point? I think so. Also, we were trying to make friends with Sam, but I think the only way to do that now is to spend $600 a day, and I don't even know if two pizzas would, would be enough. I bet on a subsequent playthrough I could do it. Um, I just have to really focus on it sooner. I really want to see that cutscene. Does anybody have a link to somebody who has seen the cutscene? I think it takes place on the beach. And uh, Sam is talking about his his dad, Kent, being in the in the military. Or being gone or something like that. So if any of you have seen the cutscene and have a video of it or can direct me to one, that would be great. Just leave a comment on it. And um, I might even pin it. I almost never pin a comment, but... Maybe that's something I should start doing. I don't know. Oh no, our speed went away. On the upside of breaking all these rocks is we are getting more stones. Which we're going to need if we're going to try and do the barn. Ooh, copper and ore. I mean, yeah, copper, copper, and ore. Good job, Hillhelm. Copper and coal. Nice. All right, flying bugs. I need you in my life because I really would love an ancient seed. Those, those underground friends there, they drop yams. That's what it is. They drop yams. Wow, two amethysts in a row. What are the odds of that? Squish. We haven't learned enough, huh? Where are we at? What level mining? Level six. Moving right along with the skills also. What floor does that thing drop on? I wish I knew. Hey, dwarf scroll. When do you start showing up? 
It seems to me that I usually find it, like, after I've gotten the burglar ring, and that's what enables me to get it. Well, I guess we could give Sam this purple tea stuff. It said anyone, right? today though. Look at all this. It's like it's it's everywhere. It's on every floor. Hello. How many how many of those do we have to re remove from the game? Quite a few, right? I think there's a number on those as well that you, you need to hit. I don't remember what it is. And it may have changed honestly. May be a different number. Oh, the area is overrun with monsters, huh? I'm not too concerned about that. Oh, a glow ring. Yes. Those are what we want. <laughs> More flying enemies, please. If this was Hell Divers, I would not be saying that. That's a yam. Okay, let's enjoy some algae and then we'll pick up the yam. Perfect. Cherry bombs galore today. And why are we doing this for? Do we have to? No, it's just for fun, honestly. Because it's a game and games should be fun. Right then. Smack. I'm looking for ore, looking for ore in all the wrong places. Boom, boom. 220 stone. Not bad for coming in with zero. That is not a rock. <laughs> that's a rock crab. Okay, nothing there that's pressing we will get some more stone here real fast aha a crab friend more important to me than sap is that's for sure can we get down one more floor and find just a little bit more copper I do have 62. That is a pretty good amount, but here at the end of the day, the game's just going, you know, I don't really think you need to go down another floor, Hillhub. I'm like, but I would like to go down another floor game. That's what we're talking about. Yes. Okay. Do I have room for a quartz? I do. Break a couple more rocks here. Yes. One more rock. Okay. I would go break that copper, but it's time to leave. It's after one, and we still have to get into the bed. Back to the bus stop. Oh, I love having that going. It's so nice. So very nice. Can drop this there, grab that out, sell that there, go over here, get a couple of you, toss you in there. Yeah, it's very late. It's okay, we can stack things like a pro. Nope. Oh boy. I don't know if we're gonna make this. It's gonna be close. I probably should have sold the amethyst as well, but I panicked. <laughs> Sometimes the panic wins out. Okay. 500-ish from the cheese and the mayonnaise. Lots and lots and lots from the blueberries. 
Makes me feel good. Almost 4K. Okay, that puts us at what, about 15? 15 is a really good number for where we're at. We could upgrade the barn. I think what I will continue to do, though, is just save it to buy fall crops with. We'll use the next several days to continue to gain resources in the mines to be able to build some more sprinklers, hopefully. And then also, uh, I think we're... Uh, so we had like 70 copper there, didn't we? So that's quite a few copper bars out of that. Um... I'm, I'm a big fan. It's not quite 20 bars. Maybe like 15. So that would be enough for several tree tappers. We're still going to need more than that. Um, let's get all that rolling. But yeah, I think we're in a really good place as far as getting the community center done in about a year. I guess we'll find out, you know, when we actually get it done, how long it takes us. But I'm really hoping that we get it done early in winter. Uh, I don't know of a way to do it faster than that with the winter forage. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hope you're having a great one. Hope you enjoyed this episode, everyone. Have a great day. Have a great week and hope you're having a great life. We'll see you next time.